So, I've many we are choosing. Well, I'm thinking I'm about the height. 55. 55. So, yeah, well, I'm about is there anybody saying hello? Do we know? Mm -hmm. Kel's on today. David's on today. Maudie Wilson. Kenny Tusker. Diggy Graham's watching. Oh, well, they're all getting a shout out. Okay. And shout out today. Shout out. All that I can see so far. So what, Susan? That's all that I can see so far. Do you want to explain it? Just tell just like... Yes, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just start, Susan. I'll just, just give a wee intro. Just keep you happy, Susan. Hi, everybody. Back to lockdown Tuesday. Keep you occupied. Um, so this afternoon, we're going to be doing a tart -a tan of apple. Um, typical French classic um, apple tart. Uh, basically, it's caramel, puff pastry, um, apples. Um, I've noticed there's been a few comments for the caramel sauce, butterscotch sauce, so I will do that at the same time. That's lit Briny's face up. Um, at the same time as the the caramel is as the apples are caramelising and that's with vanilla ice cream. Okay, so when we are doing the tartatan, basically we are going to be peeling the apples, we're going to have a layer of butter, then sugar, putting the apples on top, and then we'll get the puff pastry. When we're doing the puff pastry, it's important that we get the puff pastry underneath the apples and the sugar. Okay, so when we put this on the gas, the butter and the sugar will melt. Once we get it up to temperature, it will start changing colour into a caramel. At that point, we'll put that in the oven. Okay, so I will peel the apples to start with. So I'm using Cox apples. Okay, so the reason I'm using Cox apples is they're firm, firm apples. Um, they don't, they hold, when you're cooking them, they hold. Um, and uh, they don't lose their shape, don't go into mush. Okay. So also, before you cut the apple, I'll show you a wee secret um, about the apple. Very juicy, Brian, aren't they? Yeah. Hi Zach, on you go. No meat or fish today, Zachy. Right. Like Just it. fruit. It does like okay. So, when you look at the apple um, in front of you, now you have a thin side and you have a round side in an apple. So you can see here, that's the long side. And that's the thick side. So when I cut that in half, I want the apple to be as big as possible. So it takes longer for it to cook and it holds and it gives the caramel time to soak into the apple. Okay, so you can see again there, thin or thick. Okay, so I'll go straight down the middle on the thick. I didn't get that. Huh? One oh, taller than the other. One that's thinner. Right. And that's wider. Right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Every day's a skill day, Susan. <laughs> okay. So, so much size involved. Huh? So much size involved. That is brining. So we're just gonna core the apple. Take it out. You can use Braybong, Braybong's work as well. Right. Okay. Who's concentrating? Well, I just don't want to break the apple in half. Is that okay, Susan? Huh? Huh? I'm doing three apples for this. Okay. 
Oh, that's size of this. Where is that? Is that okay? Come and say hello. Say hello. Say hello. The Ooh. best boy. Best boy. Huh? Right. Right, down. Down. <laughs> Why, what, Shun? I know he does. You just need to wait. I'm busy. Okay. So that's us got the apple. Stop making signals to me, Susan. Huh? I know. Just wait and see. Right? So that's the apple. Take the butter. Butter's hard and just thin. I'm just going to cover the base. Of the dish. Are we taking Mohammed to the mountain again, Brian? Yeah. Okay. Is healthy, isn't it? Huh? This is the healthy butter. Well, desserts aren't the best for the 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 health, unfortunately. <coughs> so okay. So, so, just cover it so the basically we just cover the bottle with the butter. Take the sugar. And we cover the bottom as well. I fear the colleagues because we might have sugar on that. Jesus, what have we got? Well, you all ask for tartar tan, you're getting tartar tan. So, Truth the apple, <laughs> when we are cooking the apple, so obviously when we turn this upside down, we want the presentation of the apple. I don't want the core. So the core, Faces up. Okay. And that one will drop in. Stay straight out of the fridge. Okay. So, if you buy sheets of pastry already rolled, I have cut this slightly earlier. So, basically, I'm wanting this to go in side. Underneath the apple, so I've cut it slightly big. Okay, okay, it's very quick. Yeah, so when I'm doing it, I lift up the apple and I push the puff pastry underneath the first apple, turn the dish, lift up the next apple, and push the pastry underneath the apple. Okay. So again, just going to take a little bit off, and then again, lift the apple pastry underneath. Same again. Now just keep turning the dish, going round and round. What is your oven at? It's at one eighty. Okay. You just keep tucking it in underneath the apple. Now the reason for that, so you can see there, nice and round. And, uh, nice and round, and you can see, I can see the sugar and the butter. So that's important for when we are caramelizing this on the heat. Now, next we need to pierce the pastry so the steam can come out of the apple. Obviously the apple's full of water and I want to evaporate that water from out. So if I leave, if I didn't uh, make holes, the water would basically go into the pastry, okay? Whereas I'm, I'm looking for the water to come out. So I'm gonna light the gas, hopefully. Did you wash your apples first? No. If it, again, if you're doing the apples, I'm, I peeled them, cold them. Oh, yeah. If you are doing them prior, you can rub them in a little bit. If you put them into a lemon juice, you can keep them in lemon juice just to keep them um, white. Okay, so we'll put that on the heat. And we're going to make the caramel 
while that's on, we'll make the caramel sauce as well at the same time. Time and motion. I know another, but it's only sugar, butter, and cream, Susan. It's only a wee extra, okay? Please don't explain. That. I'm going to explain. Have you give me a minute, ladies, girls? <laughs> My goodness. Okay, How so. I'm just making a little bit of sauce because you usually eat it with ice cream later on. Okay, so sugar. And I'm going to add very little water. Maybe. That's okay. That's just to dissolve it. Many of the sugar to put in there? I'll I'd say about three or four. Three or four. You're right, Ryan. You got that right. Okay. So, when that's on, both of them are on, I'm just going to dice up a little bit of butter for the sauce. Just so when it comes up, I can add it right away. Now, this is seriously um, very, very dangerous. Sugar is dangerous. Once it reaches a, a certain temperature, it's crucial. If it goes on your hand, please do not rip the sugar off, put it under cold water and let it fall off. Um, it's very, very important, if, especially if there's younger kids, um, maybe the adults can lift it off the, the heat and put it onto a tray before you put it in the oven. Um, now, as I say, when this, when this is coming up, when this is coming up, so, Ryan, could you just bring the camera over? Yeah. Okay, so you can see here, uh, put that on there. You can see here, the sugar and the butter is starting to melt. And we're wanting to make that like a light golden color and then we'll put that in the oven, okay? Now the sugar in the back, we are basically just melting the sugar, okay? Melting that sugar. Again, we are going to be making caramel sauce, so, of the butterscotch sauce. When we're doing this, again, when it goes to a light caramel, we will be adding butter and sugar, uh, butter and cream. When we add the cream, please stand back if you are going to try it at home. When you add the cream, have a whisk ready, but please stand back when you put the butter and cream in because it does boil up and it, as I say, it's a crucial temperature. Okay. What is the tin foil trick? The tin foil is just so I don't make a mess of my darling wife and she's not spending a couple of hours cleaning the caramel off of the this stove, really. Okay. So, both caster sugar, 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 Susan. Was it unsalted or salted? It's unsalted. Okay, so I'm just going to bring this up to the front. Right. Right, Brian, can you bring that over? Yeah. Okay, so you can see the sugar starting to change colour. Can you get it, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't see. Okay. So you can see how quickly that's changing colour. Now we're going to add, as I say, the butter and cream, and please um, stand back when it when it's coming. Um, do not put your finger in to taste it to see if it tastes nice. You'll um, have no finger left. Okay. So back to the tartar tan. You can see the butter and the sugar caramelising. Now, if you imagine, this is going to become nice and crispy and the pastry that's underneath the apple is going to be all soggy and full of caramel, full of the butter and the sugar. Mm -hmm. So that will soak in, and you've got a nice sweet um, caramelization underneath and a crisp base um, on top. So I've, I did a wee blue Peter this morning. Um, so it's important when you're doing sugar um, or caramel that you let it Cook. You don't start stirring it, etc. If you have a, a brush, like a neg brush, a, a pastry brush, you can take a little bit of water and just rub the edges if, it, if you feel it's crystallizing around the side. Now, this is quite a, a quick recipe today, so I'm not going to have you waiting an hour 
while this is cooking so I've, I did a wee blue peter again and it's already in the oven heating up okay so it's all starting to come together um, unfortunately I've got to stand over the caramel so I can't really start anything else um, until these are in the oven hey Bryony yeah. But any other fruit you can do for that? Any other what? Fruit you can make that. Pears, you can do pears. Um, you can do pineapple, but um, you need the, the, the recipe's a wee bit different when you're doing pineapple. How's that? Because pineapple's soft, whereas apples and pears are hard. Okay, so, Brian, bring it over here. So we're just going to turn this round. It's starting to caramelise on one side, so I'm just going to take it off. Wow. Okay. Huh? You happy with that, Brenny? Looks amazing. Looks amazing, huh? Just like your dad. Mm. Huh? <laughs> okay. So we've got enough colour there. We're going to put that on a tray and we're going to put that in the oven to cook. Okay. So on a tray in the oven and that's in for about 20 to 25 minutes. Okay. So. If you don't have a cast iron pan for the tartar tan, what else can you use? You can use, um, like, T-file dishes there, maybe zoom in that. Can you use, like, a ceramic oven tray? What plastic? Huh? Not no. Did you just say that? Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Did you just say, can you use plastic? Right, so, you can see here the caramel's starting to colour. I'm going to add the cream and I'm going to mix it and stand back you see how it's coming up okay see how it boils up i'm just going to add the butter okay and just mix that in and it comes back down to the sauce okay so a nice buttery rich caramel sauce yeah because you want to melt the sugar back down when you add cold liquid to the hot sugar it all congeals together and you want to heat it back up as quick as possible okay and then about 20 to 25 minutes okay and then we're going to pass this through sieve okay and that's us, we've got the sauce. And as I say, please do not put your finger inside. Turn this off. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So. So we'll have the caramel sauce. And then. Yeah. So, you can see here, I've got one individual portion and I've got a big one. It's not quite ready. I'm just going to put it back in for I had the tin foil just to. I put the tin foil on it just because I was um, preparing the other ones. I wouldn't normally put the tin foil on to reheat. The only reason I put it on, as I say, it was just to protect it in case I forgot while I was doing. Um, everything at once there. You can see, as I say, if you were doing it at home, you could do the tartar tan or make your sauce a couple of days before um, and just reheat it. As I say, the only reason I had tin foil on it was just in case I forgot the time and it ended up black and I look a bit of a boo-boo in front of everybody. Don't want to embarrass yourself. We don't want to look like a boo-boo. So, the tartar tan, well done. Caramel sauce we've done and vanilla ice cream um, which I went into the restaurant to churn earlier on so I'd made obviously I don't have the big machine here so um, vanilla ice cream is basically egg yolks um, sugar milk and cream and then we put the vanilla pods in that so we make it like a custard so the, we bring the milk and cream and the vanilla up to the boil we add um, the, the yolks and the sugar, we whisk to it becomes um, light in colour, light and fluffy. And then we add half of the boiling milk and cream 
to the eggs, whisk that in and then we pour that mix back into the pot with the rest of the milk and cream. When we are cooking it out, we have the wooden spoon, so wooden spoon or spatula. So if you imagine the pot, we move the ice cream constantly in like a figure of eight, so it's, um, we don't want it to come to the boil. We're also looking for a consistency that basically coats the back of the spoon. Okay, so when you put a line in the back of the spoon, you're wanting that um, the mixture to stay separate. Okay, we cool that down and then we put that into the ice cream machine. So, for the quenelles, or you can use an ice cream scoop, we take it all in the wrist. So again, I use the tub as my guide. What were your quantities for sugar for both? Like we have got a scotch sauce, Some, somebody's asking No, but it depends, I mean I only put a few spoonfuls in. Three to four. Um, I put three, four spoonfuls of the sugar in the pot for the caramel because I've only got a family of four. Okay, I've got a couple of neighbours that will no doubt want a bit. Um, <laughs> but I only put, you know, two, three spoonfuls of sugar in um, and you, as I say, the cream and the butter. Probably like 30 grams of butter, a slice. You make 30 grams of butter then, Brian. Is it a slice? Okay. So, we're going to tip, as I say, I've got the individual or I've got the big one for four. I would say you could feed four on the big one. don't need the caramel sauce because as I say the sauce here so tip that up Take to rewarm? Um, as I say, that could have been probably to be another five minutes um, in, the, in the oven. But you can see, I'm going to melt that down and get it on top so it's it nice and shiny. So you can see there how the pastry is nice and golden but um, gooey with a caramel and crisp bottom. Again, the same. Same there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah? No, no, I'm just going to, I'm just getting it off. It was a wee bit, it could have been done a couple of minutes longer. And then, No. 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 Because you need the apple. You're in, it's in the oven for a good half an hour, 40 minutes. Okay, so normally that would be melting through the apple if um, when it's heated up. Yeah. Okay, so with, I'll just decorate the individual one. So with the caramel sauce. Okay, just around, drizzle that around, and then you take your quenelle of ice cream, again with the wrists, and then on top, ok, 
okay? So if you feel it's not sitting in the middle, okay, like that. Okay, just clean my room. And that's it. Okay, so that's the tartar tan that everybody's been asking for. And just have a look still on the oven, you can see it's, it's coming on. Okay, so I'll just turn that around. I'll actually bring it down a shelf. And you can see the caramel changing colour. Okay, so we're just wanting the pastry and the apples to cook now. So, is there any questions? Well, as I said, it's a quick, it's quick and it's not quick. The preparation is quick, but bringing it together, um, obviously it takes a, a fair bit of time for it to cook. Um, but you can see the idea of how golden, you're looking for an even colour all the way around, all over. Um, and as I say, you're looking for the pastry um, to be cooked, but because the, the caramel, um, the butter and the sugar is going into the, the pastry. And you can see with the pastry, um, as puff pastry always rises, you can see it start to come out there. Um, all the different layers of the puff pastry coming out. Okay, well, hopefully you all... How big was the cast iron dish? Cast iron dish was, say, a handful size. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's about 15, it's about 12, 14 centimetres wide. Four inches diameter. Four inches diameter. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Okay. Um, so, what we drink with that? So, with dessert, um, when you are matching sweet wine um, with dessert, it's important that you, it's better, sweeter with sweet. I know that sounds crazy, but the the sweeter it is with the special elixir of tartar tan, there is a lot of sugar um, butter in there. So with that, um, we have a Riesling um, from, I'll lift it up, Brimey, sorry. So we have a uh, Mary McTaggart Riesling Woodstock from New Zealand. Okay, um, obviously Riesling has a little bit of sugar in that content. We also have a dessert wine, um, which is Sai Fried, and that's Sweet Agnes Nelson, and that's a Riesling also from New Zealand. Um, and then we have a Calvados, which Obviously, it's an apple flavour uh, spirit, so you could use that um, if you're not a wine person um, on the sweet side. Um, so hopefully, you all enjoyed that today. I know, as I said, Can it you was freeze it. Freeze what? Tartan. Not really. Okay. Not really. And how would we find out the wines? Um, in variety, I have said. It's on the website, the same as every other week. Um, there's information on the website that my darling wife has put on. And the Facebook page. And the Facebook page and the Instagram page. Um, what other page? No idea, Susan. <laughs> huh? Twitter. Twitter page. Sorry. <laughs> so that's all the pages. Um, as I say, hopefully if you are making it, uh, please be careful with your hands. Um, as I say, uh, the sugar is is it's crucial if you if you don't pay attention with it, um, and also if you are lifting um, like the earthenware dish that I had, if you take your cloth up your arm and grab like that, it just means if the the sugar and the butter is boiling, there's no chance of it hitting your arm. Okay, as I say, it's painful stuff. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll catch you next week. Take care. Thank you.